Bonjour tout le monde. Aujourd'hui c'est mercredi le 1er février. Le mot de passe? J'ai faim. J'ai faim. Et la question de la semaine, tu as combien d'animaux de compagnie? Um, you are going to be using both le mot de passe et la question when you make your Flipgrid or if you come to the meet, you can do it in person. Um, regardons ensemble. Tu as combien d'animaux de compagnie? Est-ce que tu as un hamster ou deux chats? Donc, in your answer, you're going to say, j'ai number animal. Donc, if you have one dog, j'ai un chien. J'ai un chien. Um, I just realized that none of these, un pster, un cochon d'inde, un chien, un chat, un poisson, un cheval, un oiseau, they're all masculine words, so you will not need to use un at all. If you just have one of these animals, you'll just say, j'ai un hamster, j'ai un oiseau. Um, one thing I did not put in here that I will fix right now, si tu n'as pas d'animal de compagnie, je n'ai pas d'animal de compagnie. Donc, j'ai un cochon d'Inde, j'ai un cheval, j'ai deux oiseaux. So, you take the number, deux, trois, quatre, etc., if you have more than one animal, and you use that in place of un. So, instead of saying, j'ai un poisson, if you have five fish, j'ai cinq poissons. D'accord? Ou pour un autre animal, because I just have a few here, um, wordreference.com, use this same setup, um, and insert whatever animal you have. Donc, tu as combien d'animaux de compagnie? Combien? And then answer like that. J'ai number item. J'ai un hamster. J'ai deux chiens, etc. Okay. Um, aujourd'hui dans l'histoire. Aujourd'hui, c'est mercredi le 1er février. En 1879, la Marseillaise a été choisie comme l'hymne national français. Um, l'hymne national, national anthem. So you see this word sometimes especially used uh, talking about like church music, a hymn, an hymne en français is just another word for a song. We would call it an anthem because that's what we call a national song, national anthem. Um, La Marseillaise uh, is, une Marseillaise means a woman from Marseille. Um, Marseille is a town in the south of France, so that's all that means. But it was written, elle est écrite par Claude-Joseph Rouget de Lille pendant la Révolution Française. So written during the French Revolution and uh, notoriously a very violent, very bloody um, national anthem, as national anthems go, but um, pretty catchy too, a very strong, um, proud tune. Donc, voici la chanson. You can use this link to listen to the La Marseillaise and read the lyrics, or you can find the lyrics elsewhere, but I'd like for you to listen to it. It's a, like I said, it's a pretty powerful national anthem. Um, a, voici les questions. Qui a écrit la Marseillaise? Your answer is up here. Quels sont deux mots que tu reconnais dans la chanson? So for this, you'll have to look at the lyrics and tell me deux mots que tu reconnais. Okay, voilà, voilà. Hey, um, il y a un Ed Puzzle sur Brandon Brown. So I told you a couple weeks ago that this is a novel. It's really a pretty short book, but it's technically a novel since it's fiction and it's chapters. 
Um, you are not going to read the entire thing. You're just going to read chapitre 1 and chapitre 2 because that's all I have access to online. Um, you might hear about it if you are in Francais 2 somewhere in Lee Summit next year. They The teachers might reference it. So at least now you'll know what they're talking about. Um, but we're just going to kind of get a little little taste of it. Um, for chapitre 1, you are going to do an ed puzzle. So in Schoology, we need to go to our Set Semen folder. Mercredi, le 1er février. There's your Aujourd'hui dans l'histoire. There's your um, assignment with the link to the flip. A Brennan Brown chapitre 1. You're just going to click on Get Started. And basically, I go through and I read the chapter. You can read along because it's going to be visible um, on the screen. And I uh, kind of just do a guided reading. And there are some questions throughout. So just do your best to answer those questions. And um, that will be kind of how we go through chapitre 1. And then we'll do something different for chapitre 2 next week. Okay. A. Last thing. Le flip pour cette semaine. So when you do your flip this week, you're using le mot de passe. Um, J'ai faim. Tu as combien d'animaux de compagnie? We talked about that earlier. Et toi, gestes. So make sure you go to this slide, watch this video, so you know which actions go with les élèves vont, les élèves ont, les élèves ont faim, and you can show me those in your flip. And then just bonjour, au revoir, and that is it. Okay, um, I will still have the meet today from 11.30 to 12. I'm always there from 11.30 to 12, <laughs> Monday through Thursday. I try to have a synchronous class Le Mercredi on Wednesdays, but so far nobody has done it this semester. So if you'd like to show up, I'd be happy to walk you through some stuff um, live. Otherwise, um, just make sure you do your assignments. Au revoir tout le monde.